Hey, what's up everyone? This is C. Coronado here. Thanks for checking back in. Today we're going to do a quinoa and black bean side dish. I use quinoa often for my carbohydrates throughout the day. Quinoa is a great whole grain. It's high in vitamins and minerals, especially iron and potassium. In a third of a cup you get 30 grams of carbs and only 2.5 grams of fat. So it's, it's a great clean source of, of carbohydrates. Today we're going to start with cutting our onion and our garlic. Okay, just cut it right through from end to end and cut off one side. Put that right in your, your garbage. Peel it. And then it's just going to be a rough chop. So you're going to go down. And then across. For the garlic, you're just going to smash it, peel it, take off the little end, and then just dice it. chopped up, we can add it right to this bowl right here, and we're going to then saute it. And then it goes. Give it a little mix. And make sure you watch it because the garlic will brown up before the onions if, if you're not careful. While that is sautéing, we're going to get just the rest of our ingredients ready. So we'll take our quinoa, just measure it out, you need three quarters of a cup. As always, you can do more, you can do less, uh, depending on how many, how many meals you're going to be having throughout the week, so that's where that comes from. Here I have some chicken broth. I use just, it's just a packet and you, you let it dissolve into some hot water. Um, you can use vegetable, you can use beef, you really could use whatever you want. I like chicken, it gives it a little bit more flavor. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're going to add in our quinoa. Give that a quick stir. And then our chicken broth. And in here I have cumin and cayenne pepper. Some salt. and some pepper. I'm going to give it a stir. Put a top on it. Bring it up to a boil and then lower it to a simmer for the next 20 minutes or so. For the end of the recipe we're going to use some fresh cilantro. You can use the dry cilantro. And if you do decide to use that, that's not a problem at all. Just simply put it in with the other spices. The fresh, you want to make sure you put it in at the end so that it doesn't get sour. So we're just going to kind of really dice it up. You want to get it very, very fine. So 
what I was always taught is if you think it's good, keep going, and then it'll be good. Alright, all that water's done, so we're going to add in a cup of some frozen corn. Stir that up a little bit. Let that go for a few more minutes. Just let the corn kind of heat up. You can take that off, turn off your flame, and add in two cans of black beans. As well as your cilantro. And just mix that up. Okay, that's it guys, real simple today. So, thank you for checking out this video. This was the quinoa with black beans. And I appreciate it, and I'll see you next week.